And once again, I'm gonna remove the casing on this because this is the third time I think I've done this in this video for you guys. And I'm gonna wonder if any of you have noticed a thing that I was surprised by right at the beginning. There's the back, there's the front, or depending on which way you're looking at it. Um, where are the heat sinks? That's right, this is a 12 bay system. We have an active fan, I'll give you that. And on the inside of the other side, we have no cooling there, uh, no uh, dissipation panel there. This is Marco from uh, Asus Store. Uh, we are uh, out here in the uh, temperature and humidity chamber to uh, respond to uh, some feedback that we have received about our new flash store NAS devices. Our flash store NAS devices do not come with heat sinks for the SSDs. In fact, they are uh, sold separately if needed. However, uh, we are here to uh, demonstrate that in 99% of situations, the uh, SSDs are not needed for uh, um, for the flash store NAS device. So we have set a uh, temperature and humidity chamber to uh, 35.1 degrees Celsius, which is uh, a far more extreme ambient temperature, just to demonstrate that uh, even in most regular situations, uh, SSD heat sinks are not particularly needed except for perhaps some types of SSDs that tend to run hotter than uh, others. So we are going to uh, double check. We have thrown 12 SSDs into the uh, into the yes and we have thrown 12 SSDs into the you know, flash door NAS device and we are going to showcase uh, that they continue to run in spec in a high yet uncomfortable ambient temperature environment. Alrighty, so we are inside the temperature humidity chamber and we are going to throw the flash door 12 Pro inside to demonstrate that even in a high ambient temperature environment the SSDs will not overheat. So inside we have Flash Store 12 Pro, and it is populated with 12 SSDs from with a mix of Seagate and Western Digital. So those are the first six SSDs, and the other six are right here. So we have not put in the screws just to make this a little bit easier and a little bit faster. So we're gonna put this back together, and we're gonna go turn it on. So as we wait for it to turn on, we are going to close the door and let the temperature and humidity chamber warm up. So right now it is at 31 degrees Celsius. That will warm up for a bit. And as it warms up, it will warm up the NAS as well. Alrighty, so we are at temperature right now. We're gonna go move to the screen. Now we're gonna do this in relatively few takes just because we wanna show the authenticity of this. Alrighty, let's log in. <clears throat> to check SSD temperature, simply go to Storage Manager and then go to Dry. Now what we are doing right now is we are using the synchronization feature for the uh, rate. As you can see, it has been doing it for a little bit of, a little bit of time. And this hammers the drive really, uh, really nicely. Now we'll wait for the NAS to warm up. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. 
So as the NAS has been allowed to warm up for a little bit, you can see that in a 35 degree ambient temperature environment, which is rather uncomfortable for most people to begin with, you can see that the SSDs are still within spec. 66, 59, 67. Now Seagate and Western Digital both say that their SSD should work in an, on, an environment under 70 degrees Celsius. Now the only SSD that we have is up to 70 degrees Celsius is this one. We're not exactly sure why. Now some SSDs do tend to pr uh, produce more heat than others. So in that kind of situation, such a high ambient temperature environment, perhaps the heat sinks may be needed for that time. However, with the SSDs that we have already tested and validated in our compatibility list, even in a high temperature environment, they are not overheating and not in a warning state as well. In a normal office where the ambient temperature is going to be in, a, in the mid-20s, this is not going to be an issue for most SSDs at least. Alrighty, thank you for watching. If you need heat sinks, you know, you should check your particular situation, but we feel that in 99% of situations, heat sinks or SSDs inside the Flash Store 12 Pro NAS is not particularly necessary.